So Donald Trump brought his Lila Palooza campaign rally to Vegas last Saturday night, and his arsenal of lies and cognitive impairment was on full display. But before we all have a hearty laugh at His Highness's astounding feats of stupidity, please hit that like and subscribe button. I said to him, you know, Ronnie, I'd like to take a cognitive test. I never heard of it before, but whatever it is. I like tests. I've always liked tests. Tests are very interesting. And, uh, you know, I had an uncle. He's the longest serving professor, Dr. John Trump, in the history of MIT. Same genes. We have genes. We're smart people. Now, the orange menace is way past caring if his lies can be fact checked. Once his maggots hear it, it becomes gospel. But one lie bears exposing. So it's a well-known fact that Diaper Don had an uncle who was a professor at MIT, John Trump, and by all accounts was an extremely intelligent physicist and electrical engineer. So to be fair, we should give Professor Trump's prodigy nephew a chance to show off some of his genetically acquired intelligence. Caucus on February Earth, February Earth. But on top of it all, Joe, but on top of it all, Joe, and if I'm a little bit wet, little, they say, oh, he was sweating. I'm a little bit wet. The first non-incumbent, and remember this, look at this, non-incumbent. What a pear-shaped loser. In 1839, Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It's a metaphor for how certain behavioral and personality characteristics can be passed from generation to generation, like these two guys. But in Donald Trump's case, sometimes the apple does fall far from the tree, far, far away, rolling down a yellow brick road built on a bed of lies and deception, gaining speed and weight until its thin-skinned, rotten core comes to rest in a garish Florida retirement home slash resort, festering and decomposing into a mottled, blithering, incontinent flesh blob whose acrid aroma attracts both flies and mouth-breathing imbeciles. But back to Uncle John. John Trump was a professor from 1936 until 1973. Unfortunately, his grifted nephew never got a chance to hear one of Uncle John's lectures because Donald cheated his way into the Wharton School of Finance, where he learned savvy investment strategies, like how to turn a $5 million debt into $88 million by simply opening his mouth. And while John Trump's 37 years constitutes an impressive teaching career, Donald Trump's claim that it's the longest in the history of MIT is a lie. It's not even close, and the lie is an insult to the person who holds the record. So this amazing man is Gilbert Strang, an MIT professor who taught calculus, analysis, and linear algebra. His awards and accomplishments are too numerous to mention, but include Rhodes Scholar and Alfred P. Sloan Fellow. He just retired in May of 2023 after an astonishing 61 years teaching at MIT. Here he is at 88 years old delivering his final lecture on linear algebra. Now remember, he's a full decade older than Professor Bone Spurs. So I have that equation set, and I subtract two times that equation from this one. I choose that number two, so that two times two x will, will be four x, and when I subtract, I'll have a zero. I said, is it tough? He said, yeah, it's a tough test. You like to have a lion, a giraffe, a whale, and a shark. And they'll say, which one's the lion, okay? I multiply that by two, so two, two times three y is six y, leaving five y. At the beginning, sir, I'm going to give you six names. Good. They look at them. A chair, a hat, a badge, a necklace, and they vote. And two times 4Z is 8Z from 14, leaving 6Z. We're going to give you six things. And I say, good, what's going on? Can you rename them? Can you rename them? So I name them. Then they go back. And if you can do it in order, that's even better. And 2 times 19 is 38 from 55, leaving 17. Okay. They say, what were those six things? That there aren't too many people. And I get, they laughed. Everyone said, oh, oh that's so easy. There's only about 2% uh, in this room can do it, but I did it. And 4Z from 17Z is 13Z. And 19 from 50 is 31. Okay. I did it very easily, but I got mocked. They said, oh, that's so easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Go home and try doing it, okay? Go home. So let's put to rest, as if we needed to, the notion that Donald Trump comes from some intellectual royalty. He's lied about his grades, lied about graduating number one in his class, and after hearing him speak for the last eight years, seems to have gotten most of his extensive vocabulary 
from a C and say. The pig says, You can do anything. Grab him by the pussy, 